I stand here with my war cry as loud as I can to the universe for all of our land, all of our water, the power of the people that are going to stop this Trans Mountain Pipeline. I'm just, I'm just going to stand up here. I want to make sure that you all see me right here. Can you see me? I'm holding up this purple cast. This is a cast on my arm from the RCMP breaking my wrist on Saturday, October 19th, standing, <clears throat> standing in the path of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. This eagle feather was given to me by my little sister right here holding this sign to honor the courage and the bravery of Tiny House Warriors. <laughs> I come here from the mountains, from the land of the spilling waters where the glaciers flow, where the first drop of that water flows down every little creek and stream into the mighty Fraser River that flows all the way here to the Salish Sea. This is how I have connected to you, because the water comes from our land. The salmon spawning grounds are in our land. When those salmon come up to spawn from the ocean, they swim up all those rivers to the creeks, the spawning beds in our lands. And that's why we stand so fiercely in defense of our water, because it's every life that depends on that water. The salmon, the salmon's DNA is in the blood of us as indigenous people. We live and breathe, we eat the salmon every single day and we're being impacted right now by climate change. There's some families that are used to getting 200 salmon to feed their families throughout the winter that have not got one single salmon this year. This is how we're being affected. It's taking food right off our dinner table, taking food right out of our children's mouth. This climate change impacted by industry in our lands that we never consented to. Right now, the federal government is pushing these treaty agreements to try to settle lands that has never been surrendered. The federal government is to have some tricks and up their sleeve at, like they have since contact. We have never agreed for our lands to be invaded or occupied. We have never consented to it and we will never ever surrender or compromise. And I think that's one thing I say to the youth because I too started out as a youth in the Native Youth Movement. Like a lot of us Native here was the Native Youth Movement. And we fought hard and we got our wrists broken too. We occupied government buildings, we blockaded highways and we talked about not just marching but direct action to shut this shit down. That's the only thing that they're going to understand is when we actually take action to shut them down. To know the power that we have, all the hearts inside of you, all those embers that kept you, that fire going, now it's time to fuel that fire. Now that's time to fuel it. Fuel it, whatever you have. Fuel that fire so it's a blazing, blazing fire that they can never stop. <laughs> That fire is in all of us and to all you young people. That's who I raise my fist up today. To all the youth out there, the young people, it's going to be you. You take that courage. You keep on fighting because the old people are going to be gone. That old boy club, the old boys club, out the door. <laughs> Thank you.
You young people, you're the ones that have the power. All that education, the technology and the information at your fingertips. You have Google, we didn't. You have a lot of wealth of knowledge. Now let's put that wealth of knowledge together and it's a superpower that they don't want to mess with.